Hi guys and welcome back to Grandad's Kitchen. Today we are making some scallops which we're going to shallow fry in a bit of butter. Um, with that we are going to have some black pudding or in this clay, uh, case it's a black chorizo, just two little slices. And I've got a slice of parma ham which I've just cut in half. We're going to use a clove of garlic with the, um, the scallops. Um, and I've got some peas already on the boil. Just half a cup of peas which we're going to puree and we're going to use it for decoration. Okay, so I've just drained the peas. So they've been cooking for five minutes with that little bit of onion. And I'm going to blitz them. So whatever machine you have at home, um, as I'm letting them uh, go here. Um, but yeah, we just want to blitz them. We want to make them into a puree. So as I said, whatever method, whatever machine you have, it's not a problem. So the peas with the onion in there, I'm going to use just a tiny bit of cream. Is that single or double? It doesn't matter. Um, if you haven't got any, just a, a little bit of butter will be fine. And it's going to be quite loud, but I'm just going to blitz there very quickly. And that's, that's done. And now the only, so that's what you've done. You've just mashed them all up. Now, what we want to do is to get all that into a sieve, and it isn't a lot, so it won't take very long. Actually, if I use a different tool, I can get all of it out. Now what you want to do is to literally just pass it through a sieve and when you think you know this is only you only need a little bit of this but you don't want the um, the skin so it will be a nice soft puree that you're going to end up with so That's it, that's all you've got, just a, a little bit there, and now we're just going to bung it in the oven and just keep it warm, it's only to keep it warm. So over to the stove, knob of butter in a nice hot pan, and in the other one a dry pan, I'm just going to put in the chorizo, and the two or the half layer of the parma ham and we're just going to have that crisped up so that we'll leave that to the side this is the important one so we get the clove of garlic you just crush it and chuck it in the pan and we get our scallops and we put them in the pan. And what we want to do now is to get a nice golden colour. And they cook very quickly. You don't want to overcook them.
so it's going to be just a couple of minutes on each side. And I'm just going to put a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt on each one. And now we can turn them round and look at that beautiful colour. That is exactly what you're looking for. And within a few minutes, that will be ready. So we've got our ham and our uh, black chorizo here. You didn't put any oil in there? No, a dry, dry ham. Dry. Which that is now ready. The chorizo is ready. We'll leave the palm of ham because we want to uh, try and crisp it as much as possible. So we remove the chorizo or black pudding, whatever you were, uh, whatever you've got to use. Let me just. If now and again you just quickly coat the uh, scallop with the the butter, it just really gives it that nutty flavour. And we're ready to start, my, we're ready to start plating. So, we've got our peas, pea puree, just being kept warm. So over here please. So we're going to put a little knob of that puree. And now you can see why. And what you want is literally depending on how many you want to make it's just a little dollop for each one and then I'm going to put the chorizo over the top look at that and now stay there, stay there and now we've got our beautiful scallop there And I'm just going to chop up the ham, which is now nice and crispy. And we're just going to dress it over the top. So there we have, and what you can do just to get a little bit of uh, a glaze is use a little bit of the burnt butter and dr drizzle over the top. And there you have it. Very quick, very, very tasty. You could use this as a starter. And some of, uh, sometimes the scallops can be a lot smaller. These are quite big. So two, I think, is sufficient for a starter. Or you could do a little platter if you have people round and they can, you know, have one each.